it's Miranda Valentine, editor of the lifestyle blog Everything Sounds Better in French, and today we are making the perfect pumpkin pie. Now, we've made this already amazing recipe a little bit more luscious by using heavy cream so that each bite has like a nice custard-like texture, and we've done a little pinch of black pepper to add some extra pizzazz. I promise this is going to be your new favorite pumpkin pie recipe go-to. I have our ingredients all laid out here. We are starting with one and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour, one tablespoon of sugar, a quarter of a teaspoon of salt, we have another quarter of a teaspoon of salt coming up later so don't be confused, five tablespoons of cold butter cut up, no substitutions, you definitely want to use butter, three tablespoons of chilled shortening, also cut up, then we have three to four tablespoons of ice water, I've used four tablespoons here, three large eggs, three quarters of a cup of sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, one 15 ounce can of solid packed pumpkin, one teaspoon of ground cinnamon, one teaspoon of ground ginger, the extra quarter teaspoon of salt, a quarter of a teaspoon of freshly ground pepper. Now I told you we were gonna have that black pepper pizzazz. This is where it comes from. Then we're gonna do also a pinch each of ground nutmeg and ground cloves. And then we have one cup of heavy whipping cream here. Okay, so to get started, we are going to make our dough. I have a food processor over here. We're gonna begin by putting our flour in the food processor. And then adding in our sugar and that first quarter of a teaspoon of salt. Just add that right in here. I'm gonna put my top on. And I'm just gonna pulse this to combine it. Just a few quick pulses. Beautiful. Now next, I'm gonna add in my butter and my shortening. And it's important that this is chilled, I know we mentioned that, but because we're making a pastry dough, if it's really soft, you won't get the consistency that you need. That cold butter and shortening is really gonna help it hold up and hold together. So really, really important that it's nice and chilled. Okay, so pop that back on, and we're gonna pulse this until um, it resembles like little coarse kind of sand. So just keep on pulsing until we get to that point. Okay, we are looking good. Now we are going to add in the ice water, one tablespoon at a time through this little feeder tube here. So just pull the top off, and then one tablespoon at a time, and I'm using a tablespoon measure just to make it really easy for myself. We're gonna pour this in, pulse as we go, and we're gonna continue to do so until it starts to stand up as a dough. So just pulse. And the reason that we're not pouring all of the water in at once, if you're ever introducing water to a solid, you want the flour, the you know existing kind of dough base here, to be able to absorb and accept the water. You don't want to overwhelm it. Okay, look how great this looks. It's beautiful. Now, before I turn it out onto my surface here, because I want to make it into a nice ball, I'm going to flour my surface. Um, this is really sticky, so I'm going to be super generous with this. So, flour, flour, flour. I get my hands in there too, so they don't get all super, super sticky. Beautiful. Okay, so let's just take this out. Beautiful. This this stood together beautifully. It's a little bit sticky, but not to fear because we are going to let this firm up in the refrigerator for about 40 minutes. But first, let's shape it into a ball. Okay. This flour is really coming in handy. Okay. So shape it into a nice ball. And I'm just going to flatten it to like a little disc shape here. Easy enough, right? Do -do -do, look at us baking in the kitchen. Okay. And now I'm gonna wrap this well with plastic. I wanna make sure it's pretty airtight. And I'm gonna refrigerate it and let it firm up for about 40 minutes. And then we'll come back and we'll move on to our next step. Okay, so our pastry has firmed up beautifully in the refrigerator, nice and chilled and ready to be rolled out, which is what we're gonna do now. I've lightly floured my surface here so it doesn't stick. We're gonna roll this out um, into a 12 inch circle and then we're gonna put it in this nine inch pie plate here. I have the oven already preheating in back of me at 425 degrees, and I have put the rack um, at the bottom third of the oven. That's important for perfect cooking for our perfect pumpkin pie. Now, 
and plop this out here. You could of course use a rolling pin or if you want to get like a little bit fancy, you can use a wine bottle. If you you know don't have a rolling pin, some people don't do a lot of baking. A wine bottle works just fine. Just make sure that you, you know, it's clean, A, and B, that you, you dust it nicely. And we're just gonna roll this out um, into a 12 inch circle. And then we'll be ready to go and put it into our pie plate. So get your nine inch pie plate here. Gently pick this up. And we're just gonna transfer it over into the pie plate. Beautiful. And then just fit it in here, just tuck it on in. Okay. And now we're going to flute it. Um, so to do so, we're just going to kind of pinch, press down pinch, and just kind of push like that. And you get that really cute little pie fluting thing. Look how gorgeous! Ta-da! Congratulations! We have fluted our beautiful little pie crust. One last step before we can put together the mixture. I know you're dying to do that, but one last step. We're just gonna pop this into the freezer for 15 minutes just as is. So we're just gonna pop it in the freezer, let it freeze and firm up, and then we will be ready to put the mixture in and pop it in the oven, and you will be able to enjoy perfect pumpkin pie. All right, so our crust has been in the freezer for 15 minutes. It's not frozen, but it's firmed up beautifully, so it's going to be the perfect receptacle for our delicious, delicious pumpkin pie filling, which we're about to make now. So let's just put this off to the side, let that hang out, and we are going to start by mixing in our eggs, just give those a little whisk, with the sugar. Yummy, eggs and sugar, right? Delicious. Just whisk that on in, beautiful. Gorgeous pale yellow, just keep going till that's combined. Add in the vanilla. Okay, great. Look how pretty that looks. Okay, just make sure we scrape the edges so any rogue sugar gets nice and mixed in. Now we're ready to add in our pumpkin. So just add that in. I always use a rubber spatula just to help me scrape out any ingredients. This is such a handy little tool. So whisk that pumpkin in, smells so good. Cinnamon, ginger. This is gonna have a nice kick, both from the pepper, but also from the ginger. I really like that this recipe is kind of kicking it up on the taste front. It's gonna be so yummy. And the salt. All right, now the rest of our ingredients, cloves and nutmeg and that pepper we talked about for that nice pizzazz, that nice bite of spice. Okay, so this is all beautifully mixed together. The last part is to just nicely, gently stir in our whipping cream. Okay, so I'm just gonna stir it. Look how gorgeous this looks. It's like, it's like the yummiest Jackson Pollock painting that never was. Look how beautiful this is. So we're just gonna gently mix this together until it's combined, but just be really gentle. We're not gonna use a mixer because we don't want the whipping cream to firm up too much. We don't want it to become like cream. We want it to just stay nice and soft like this. Okay, gorgeous, smells fantastic. I'm gonna refrain, I will not lick the spoon because you're watching me. Can't make any promises about what would happen if the camera was not on. And now we're just going to pour our filling into our prepared pie crust. Beauty, let's do it so you can see it on this side, full. Look at that, perfect guys, perfect, perfect. Oh, I got a little on the edge so just wipe that off. So the oven is preheated again at 425 degrees. So we're gonna pop it in there. Remember, we have the rack on the lower third of the oven, that's important. So we're gonna pop it in for 15 minutes. Then we're gonna reduce the heat to 350 degrees and let it cook for an additional 30 minutes at 350 degrees until the filling is nice and set. Now if you notice that your edges are starting to brown, like too much, a little bit of golden brown is good, but if they're starting to really, really darken, you can just cover them with a little bit of foil. So keep an eye on it and we'll be back in 45 minutes with our perfect pumpkin pie. 
So folks, our pumpkin pie is out of the oven and smelling absolutely delicious. It indeed lives up to its name as the perfect pumpkin pie. Now, just as a quick note, I did indeed have to wrap my edges in foil. They started to brown pretty quickly and it protected it and they still got golden brown delicious perfect. You can also see these perfect little specks of black pepper to add that pizzazz we were talking about. And it's gonna be so, so delicious. Now this is ready to serve. You can slice it up, you know, garnish with some whipped cream and some cinnamon and you're ready to go. Or if you wanted to make this in advance, what you could do is cool it completely on a wire rack like I'm doing now, loosely cover it with foil and refrigerate it for up to 24 hours. Then just let it come to room temperature before serving and you're good to go. And there you have it folks, now you know how to make the perfect pumpkin pie.